Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this weekend. And welcome to this new video on the, on Dogecoin. Uh, doing the daily updates, continuing the daily updates. Of course, Dogecoin has been ridiculously bullish and has also continued to be bullish over the last day. Uh, as expected, of course. I mean, what we've seen in the last 24 hours is that, first of all, and we already talked about this yesterday, we got a very, very solid uh, retest here at this level. Uh, at 12 cents broke above a significant level there retested that and, uh, and and we've continued so far into this major resistance level uh, which we are at right now at 14 and a half and 15 cents 15 cents obviously being a psychological resistance level and to be fair this this current key level we're at i mean it's it's a bit of a weird level because basically between 13 and a half and 15 cents there's a lot of very minor key levels kind of scattered in that area uh, so it's kind of hard to hard to dis d d distinguish when the real resistance has been hit. I would say we're at crucial resistance right here between 14 and a half and 15 cents. But Dogecoin itself, as expected, is still very bullish. All right, we we haven't really found strong resistance there yet. Uh, what you can see right now is that the volume is is dropping down a little bit. It's still very high. The volume right now is still at 2.13 billion dollars. It's still actually up over the last 24 hours even. Um, but it, it used to be $2.5 billion yesterday, so there is some sort of a drop-off in volume, but that's also because of the weekend, right? So is that really bearish? I'm not sure, and you can also see that the leverage or the open interest for, for Dogecoin has continued to, to parabolically go up, a ton of long positions are being opened. Um, and, and what's happening with Dogecoin a lot as well is that a lot of people are shorting it. Like every time Dogecoin becomes bullish, a lot of people short it. And then what you see happening is that every time, so the 17th and then the 18th and then also earlier this, uh, this uh, what is it, night in my time zone at least, uh, all of those shorts are liquidated. So if that continues like that, like we could also break above 15 cents here. Um, so o o overall bullish, I think fundamentally for, for the reasons we talked about uh, yesterday, but also before that, I think Dogecoin is still bullish uh, with Trump leading the polls, etc. And, and, uh, and, and the affiliation with Elon Musk. Talked about that enough. I mean, we, we don't need to get into depth uh, too much about that. Um, so, so the main question, I think, for Dogecoin right now is that, all right, well, if, if you look at this structure, I also yesterday, by the way, made, um, made, made my, my top altcoins for quarter four uh, video in which I also covered Dogecoin. And what I said there, if you, if you look at the higher timeframes, like this structure is just very bullish, all right? After getting that breakout and respecting the breakout at 12 cents, like 15 and 14 and a half cents was to be the, the next real price target. But I think we can go for 17 and 17 and a half as well. So the big question is, is well, on the, on, the short time, on, on, the, on the short term, what should we expect here? And I do think, especially because it is the weekend and Bitcoin is nearing some very strong resistance levels, I do think we should expect resistance. All right, and I think it's best to expect resistance. Uh, personally, I, I bought Dogecoin right here down at 12.2 cents, also shared in my in my Signal group, by the way, if you're interested in trades like that. Um, so right now, my position is up 20%. We're at a strong technical and psychological resistance level. I think a lot of people will take profits towards 15 cents. All right, and if you combine that with being in, in weekend market circumstances, I, I think we can break above that ultimately, and I do expect that. But for now, I would say it's more likely that we will find resistance there, drop down to this level right here between 13 and a half and 13 cents, and that eventually we will be able to find support here and slowly get towards 15 cents again to break above that and to get to 17 cents uh, in the next week, week and a half or so. I would say that's more likely, all right? It, it, would, be, it would be surprising, to say the least, if we can just push on this this entire move all the way up to 17 cents from here you you rarely see that now the markets are of course very bullish so is it a possibility yes but i would say it's a little bit more likely given what we're seeing from the in, in, intense uh, open interest rates and the volume that we will see some sort of a pullback here uh, before ultimately continuing to go up but those are my thoughts that's what i think you need to know for now um if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now thank you for watching take care and bye